welcome to null Ahmedabad. So I will explain was A1 injection. So let's start. Who am I? So I am a senior manager at Netsper Solution. I am a hacker trainer and you can find easily in LinkedIn at uh, Ravi Ramesh and in Twitter you can find me at underscore Ravi Ramesh. So what is injection? So injection is a flow such kind of SQL, NoSQL, OS, LDAP. There is a many types of uh, injection is there when such kind of operation perform over server side and your injected data or you can say your input involved on server side and it will interpret or execute over server side so you can consider as an injection so what is the attack vector for injection so almost any source of data you can inject as a vector like environment variable parameters headers internal web services all type of user injected or you can say directly involved on the server side or server operation so all flow occur when attacker can send hostile data to the interpreter so all those kind of entry point you can say as an attack vector uh, what is security weaknesses so in this injection flow injection uh, vulnerability like in often found in SQL you you can say like your SQL query involved on the server side and build a dynamic query so you will find SQL injection is there your LDAP query also uh, build on server side so you can inject your username or password in LDAP query and you can find as uh, LDAP injection is there like your XML data involved in XML operation on server side so may you find X path injection is there your NoSQL database query or build on server side so you can may find NoSQL so every operation have its unique uh, way to inject your data and unique way to perform such kind of operation on server side and you find the injection on server side right so you will find easily such kind of injection using scanner you can say using fuzzer is the best practices for the fine injection Let's, what is the impact so impact is based on operations like if you find the SQL injection and you can leak uh, user data so always it impact on specific uh, the confidentiality of uh, database or confidentiality of data right or in such case uh, you inject such kind of query and may it will down the server or uh, they taking down the server its impact on the availability so it's totally based on uh, your operation so uh, loss loss of accountability or denial of service is a part of this impacts so I have already covered in uh, OS command injection, code injection, and SSI injection in RTA1. You can find those PPTs and videos over YouTube. Uh, I have already covered uh, SQL injection, NoSQL injection, and ORM injection. It's separate part like HQL injection, JPQL injection, DQL in my previous uh, session. So in this RTA, uh, I will cover server side JavaScript injection, uh, CRLF inject carriage return and line feed injection, and SMTP injection like simple mail transfer protocol injection. So I will cover uh, in my next session, I will cover LDAP injection, XPath injection, and host data injection. In the DI file, I will cover express and language injection. Uh, you can say there is a different file like object graph navigation language injection server side template injection and in a 6 I will cover XML injection or uh, XSLT injection so let's start with it through the RTA so what is SSGI so SSGI vulnerability arises when your inputted data and it's incorporate user controllable data into string that 
dynamically involved on server side and in interpret or execute on server side so maybe uh, it's involved in node.js apeta wakanda dot uh, io appjet and dino so this kind of language when server side involved on such kind of language and server uh, perform operation based on this language and if you are able to inject this language code on server side we can say it's a ssgr or server side javascript injection okay so what is crlf injection so crlf is a, such character like carriage return and line feed character so if attacker can able to inject crlf character in any place like log in response header so in such cases you can say it is a crlf injection what is smtp injection or imip injection so smtp injection vulnerabilities arise when user input plays into the specific email headers so in such case uh, server operate with uh, mail operation and if you inject you, if you able to inject your mail header on the server side so we can say it's a smtp injection let's go through one by one so first is server side javascript injection so in this case if user is able to inject ssgi language code or you can say server side javascript code okay so my for example my language is uh, node js and my application is based on node js and my input is directly involved on the server side node js code so it will be a uh, server side code injection so let's give one example uh, this is a user or this is application and the server once user send any input to the application in forms of uh, your payload like dino node.js appjet apta and wakanda.io and it's directly involve your code in server side function or server side evil function and it's execute so you can say that it's ssgi right. let's understand first what is the server side javascript so ssgi is nothing but ecma script or you can say ecma so first we need to understand what's a ecma so ecma is a european computer manufacturer association so it's uh, produce uh, like ecma international according to ecma standard the document ecma 262 uh is standardized language and javascript also uh first uh, i can say first represented by ecma so it's javascript standard okay ecma script most commonly used for the client side scripting as i say javascript is a client side script right so uh even when more popular node js is server side javascript uh, javascript code it's most popular one so let's first understand which kind of ecma script available on the market so xn script cj c java javascript engine asm.js js script js script.net qt script and type script wml all part of ecma script but when you understand the client side and server side javascript so client side script like jquery jquery use uh, i i can say every application uses jquery right so jquery runs on the client side so you can say it's a client side javascript or client side framework okay but server side server side support appjet dino uh, dino is nothing but uh, that new kind of uh, framework is produced by the same develop developer which developed by node js dexer and wakanda db so 
right now most popular server side javascript uh, language is node js so let's start with a node js example how we can find uh, server side javascript injection in node js so for example when server involves your input directly in eval function set timeout function set interval or function itself uh, are used to process under privileged input it can uh, it can be exploited by attacker to inject and execute malicious app for example our it is a small code which accept your post method data and stored in data variable itself and it will pass it in eval function okay so let's start with like user or malicious user send data it will be processed on eval function and it involves in eval function eval function it's execute or uh, interpret your inputted code on server side so uh, best example if you want to practical this ssgi so NodeGoat is a project and OWASP NodeGoat projects provides a like such environment or application uh, it involves OWASP top 10 security rules. So when you scan the inputted value using the burp scan, so burp will inject the this kind of payload uh, mentioned in screen. So it will observe if we put this function in your input it will take more than 20,000 millisecond okay then but consider as a, this is a server side javascript engine let understand what's the payload so it will create some function and try to execute some function function contains first uh, check the condition with type of and random uh, variable so type of random variable it is always undefined right it is not defined so if condition is occurred then it uh, go in specific color braces and a is equal new uh, date it's defined as a date and variable b is defined in new date so during those operation after this operation there is a while loop so while loop is running and it will take at least this kind of time if it is a more than 20,000 millisecond so response will delay and response will delay it means it's considered as Java server side javascript injection so let's go deeper uh, with the payload so I use the logger plus plus so during the scan each and every payload logger plus plus is uh, will log so one of the scanner payload it is similar to I, I already explained the before that function right and there's one undefined variable and its looping is going on and server will respond with e68q4 is not defined right so there is a two uh, observation here first is your first payload its payload mentioned in on the screen it will taking 20,000 millisecond in this point time is 20,000 millisecond so normal time if you check is a 2,000 millisecond and if we inject this kind of payload it will take 20,000 so this is the first observation and also our inputted value type of 6 e68 q4 it's reflected in the response and it says it's not defined it means our injected input will interpret on server side so let's uh, take one example so it's a uh, node code application if we inject any value it's say uh, contribution upload successfully if we intercept request you can say pretext is equal to one we intercept the request the pretext is one i'll send it to the repeater and it's a normal behavior right so we need to inject our ssgi payload in every parameter right so 
as a j payload is nothing but resource dot and with one string and it's reflect on this uh, response so our response dot and with one string it is successful so i added one string like let let explain the those full structure resource dot and it will print our output of the function and it's added required fs uh, it's a file system so uh, for example in c program we always include some libraries like right? has include studio dot h corner dot h kind of so in node.js we need to add our library using the required function and this file system have options uh, or you can say function to read directory read directory and i have added a uh, directory name etc and it will return some object and we required uh, to convert into string so we can read easily so i added dot to string so let's check there's a whole etc directories file or uh, folders so we can replace with one another payload so in this uh, payload we added the child process and we execute using cat command uh, which we execute the cat command with argument as a passwd file and they we write output of this command into using resource to write let me check uh, what is the output so first we uh, url encoded and send so it will read all etc password file let's replace with uh, one new command because here is a cat command right so just change using id command and it will execute on server side and it will return the id command output so i have listed the ssgi command it's totally based on only node js language so resource dot and with an ns test string it will displace the ns test uh, string uh, i added in second i added the require fs dot read directories etc directory link uh, in third payload it's a execute cat command fourth one is a vmi and fifth one is a same as a burp payload burp suit scanner payload it will delay uh, more than 20000 seconds uh, milliseconds so we can identify the black uh, blind ssgi okay. let's start with let's start with the carriage return line feed injection so before uh, jump into the carriage return line feed injection we need to understand what is a carriage return and line feed character so carriage return is nothing but ascii value 13 and it's represent as a slash r and line feed is a ascii value 10 character and it represent as a slash n if you have done c programming and when you have write some file with a new line character we always use a slash n right so it's similar uh, they are used to not uh, terminate one line or terminate of line uh, in such case windows use a both cr and lf character are required in windows operating system uh, for the terminate line and linux and unix use only lf character so Similar, I, I have created one file with CRLF character is separate in different line and you can easily uh, check that uh, Notepad always displays a Windows CRLF. So new character is always it. And if you save this text file and open in hex editor, so you always identify after every line there is a 0D and 0A is a hex value of the cr and lf character okay in similar manner if you create one file and you write some character with new line and open in the hex editor or read using xxd so you always find a 0a okay it's only lf line feed character so 
uh, whenever you open the Linux file, you can find LF character. So, similar manner in uh, latest uh, version of Burp Suit, it displays a pretty format. So, every uh, HTTP protocol request and response, its line separator is always CRLF character, CRLF sequence. So, once you check every request contain CRLF character slash R slash N in end of the line. Okay, and even if you check the hex value of every request, so after every uh, line, you can find percent 0D, 0A character, means that CRLF character. Okay, so case study Google inbox CRLF injection. I have discovered in March 2016. So just uh, navigate to inbox.google.com. Login with uh, Gmail account. Once I log in into account, just click on different links or different mail and just observe intercepts and requests. I have found one request which uh, having uh, said NID cookie or different cookie. So I have observed one of the cookie uh, set by the application itself and inputted value getting from the URL itself. So that's one example like if I send one request response set compass cookie right in compass cookie there is a path uh, attribute if I add any random string and click on go compass string set my high keyword or string in path attribute in cookie itself so I have added percentage 0 D percentage 0 A its URL encode of CRLF character and I put a different uh, header like X access production with value 0 or you can set any value okay I added percentage 20 encoding of space and value 0 and percentage 0 D percentage 0 F for new line I added different uh, value like I just added a custom header keyword to just understand where it's put on the response side and once you send to the server it will reflect back on the server side uh, so if you observe x x x production value is zero and custom header colon custom value is injected in our uh, request right so in this case i have added in url itself maybe it's uh, you can add those kind of value in header value that cookie value or parameter value okay so I have discovered in uh, March 2016 and uh, once I send so Google respond me at March 8 wow very cool book right it's cool right and Google give me a $6,000 reward for the CRLF injection so I'm uh, taking this example because there are different types of injection in uh, available in market but generally uh, we focus on common injection like SQL injection and different OS common injection right but there are several injection in available in market you can you need to just understand and explore more uh, what's the impact of CRLM injection so Google gave me the reward of six thousand dollar it means definitely CRLF having a some impact right so the impacts based 
on the specific depend on types of scenario so clf injections allow attack to inject the client side malicious script so if i added new uh, line character or if i added two time new line character it will be a body of the uh, response right so you can inject your malicious script like cross self scripting in a parameter and it will reflect that so through uh, cross site scripting you can steal the csrf token and uh, even you said the fake cookie uh, leads to uh, cookie hijacking or you can say the session fixation uh, vulnerabilities so you can set your cookie on the victim browser so crf injection enable attacker to deactivate or bypass certain security restrictions like access suite in my example i have set uh, xss production header as zero so by default browser will disable the xss production uh, it's similar you can set same origin policies uh, or modify the same origin policies of victim browser using crlf injection so similar you can inject your malicious script you can create a phishing attack page using crlf you can add http header injection using specific or you can say uh, it's called response splitting attack uh, you can catch your uh, inputted value or page using the crlf injection and client side hijacking you can do perform the client side hijacking attack session hijacking attack using crlf injection okay so you can do lots of uh, attack using only crlf injection let's move on the simple mail transfer protocol smtp injection so in simplest word uh, smtp injection means you can add your payload in smtp header now always uh, we have question how we determine or how we identify the server side my server side operation involves the smtp where they involve normally generally uh, you can find th those kind of operation in contactus pages in application so first we need to understand how smtp works right so smtp is the oldest protocol we already know that right okay and initial stage uh, there have uh, contain very simply started email and sender of the email receive and those kind of uh, simple header is exist on previous time but with the time uh, email become much complex and many more email headers are also added so to understand smtp uh, how smtp work we need to first understand different between envelope and the email body so in envelope initial part uh, of communication is start uh, communication or you can say actual smtp protocol starting with mail from receipt to and data so what is mail from what is receipt to and what is data so when when you send any envelope so mail from contains the command set the envelope sender uh, receipt to this command said envelope recipient it can be used to multiple time like uh, we put a cc right in email so similar in receipt to command sets the envelope recipient you can use the multiple time if you want to message to reach many people at once and data contain exactly email payload the payload contains email headers and the message body separated by single empty line so you can say single empty line is a crlf character nothing else so similar the email header are not part of smtp protocol i can say like in email header and uh, envelope both are specific or you can say envelope and email body are both are uh, different right so email header are not a part of smtp protocol they are interpreted by mail client but also some email 
handling libraries uh, in programming language so from and to is the email header so let's start with one example so once you connect with 25 port or SMTP port so there are some instructions like if I add mail from uh, they ask for mail from you need to put your uh, email address it will respond with 250 code okay and ask for recipient you need to put recipient ID if you want to add more recipient you need to add a specific email ID add the Rocky William whatever you want to add and just add command data for the actual data so it will display the message content and CLF character and with CLF character you need to add content type or subject data and once it's complete just end with dot it will send your mail to the server now how it this operation involved in our web application so this is vulnerable code in PHP let's understand the code so this is a condition like name parameter if if it set name parameter then and then they check for name reply to and message value so if you send the name parameter is set then it check for name value and its name set, uh, set in, in name parameter now it's check for the reply to it's set in reply to uh, variable and it's check for message body and it's send to the, uh, set into message parameter subject is my subject header is the from and your value name it's email uh, id reply to and also email id and this is a mail function contain two subject message and header so this is nothing but one function will help to send email through the programming language now your actual request is similar to like this like post content uh, contact.php na name is equal to any name reply to email address and your message so in this variable name variable stored in the name uh, variable reply to your email address set in the reply to and your message stored in the message right so mail function helps to send this message to hello at the example.com so how we can inject our email address using SMTP injection so it is simple you need to add new line character slash n and put bcc or cc the carbon copy and blank uh, blank carbon copy once you send an email you observe the to from cc and bcc right so if you put slash n bcc colon and your email address it will send your message to specific email address with your injected email address if you receive this email address mail then SMTP injection is successful so Etega insert a new line character in Linux cases that's a line feed character and Windows that is CRLF character appear in BCC header containing additional email address so those are SMTP injection payload like percentage 0 D percentage 0 a BCC colon if you put your bub collaborator email bub collaborator email is nothing but if my if I want to create a temporary email address so I will put Ravi at the red bulb collaborator URL right and percentage 0 D percentage 0 A so it will inject or it will add in SMTP operation and send one email one copy of email to me so I will identify that the SMTP injection is there so this kind of uh, payload you need to first in each and every parameter thank you thank you